Hello, and welcome back to Resident Evil HD Remaster, where I did just a couple things off screen. Mainly, I, I went, well, not even just mainly, I went back to the item box. I put away the ink ribbons, grabbed this lighter, grabbed this shotgun, and I also picked up one of the blue orbs from next to the entrance, because we're going to need this, and we're probably going to want this just for safety, and this as well. So let's see what all this spider is guarding. I know it's guarding a particular puzzle. Oh, hey, you're on the ground now. And you're kind of hoarding that green herb all to yourself. Okay, so with red, we have got three on top and one on bottom. We need to remember this. Poor leather jacket. Lots of herbs around here. So we've got some stuff to grab here, it seems. Yeah, I'll take the red book. And we've also got another thing to light. Okay, green. It's got one on each side. And let's check out this book. It's an important book. There is a special way to use it. That spine is what's important. No, I didn't want to examine it again. Hey, look, herbs. Oh, hey. That's nice of them, putting a green and blue herb mix in a place where there's spiders. And there's also shoddy shells. But we don't have inventory space right now. I mean, I guess we can do that. It's not like there's too few blue herbs to use lying around. All right, last one of these. Okay, orange has got two on top. So. Green is six. Orange is five. Red is three. Now, where do I put in this information that I found? I've forgotten. There's a door somewhere, isn't there? Green six, orange five, red three. Yeah, I think it's a different room. Yeah, because there's no doors in here. It's got to be inside the gallery, but we haven't gotten all the items from here. I think we might still need to locate some bug spray. It may or may not be in this room. beginning to think it's not, however. So yeah, green is to either side, orange is two on top, red is three on top, one on bottom. Red is also three. What, oh, the items we haven't gotten are herbs. Durr. There's something shiny over here, but it seems to be nothing. And that spider is being really Kind. Yeah, I guess we don't get the bug spray just yet. We might have to actually brave the bees a little bit. Oh, you know what? I think the bug spray is down the hallway towards the bees. Just not quite all the way to them. Hang on. Our inventory is awful full. I'm going to want to put some stuff back like this shotgun because I got it for self-defense from a spider who was apparently not at all interested in attacking and we can put 
put that there, and these can go there. And then we're good for now. Door? There's the door. And let's equip this, because again, it's useful to actually have a weapon equipped. Okay. So now we go to the gallery. try and see whether or not the bees do in fact they do guard it that is what we want so now we can get rid of these bees the easy way because their hive guards something we want and it turns out bees like to defend their hive for some reason Okay, so now we grab this map. Hey, look, we learned about places. Yeah, let's not look through that hole. If you look through the hole, a bee comes through. And sure, you get a little scene, but it's not worth looking at. I'd rather just get rid of the bees. Okay, and now there's no bees, we can ransack this place at our leisure. We've got plenty of handgun ammo. That is nice. And there's what we wanted. And a red herb is also not a bad prize. Sure, we're not going to combine it with anything we've got on us right now. So right now it's a wasted slot. But, it's still a thing worth having. Hey look, it's room three where we can use this very key. And then get rid of it. Okay, so there's ink ribbon, but we don't want that even though there's a typewriter. Um. Well, there's a book here, and we want this book, and we want to put the book that we've got where it came from. The similarities in the cellular characteristics of the rapidly growing plant infected by the tyrant virus have been reported in previous papers. However, while repeating these experiments, an interesting new fact became clear. We learned that a chemical in the UMB family, UMB number 20, contains a compound that is toxic to the cells of the plant. We've given UMB number 20 a new name, V-Jolt. If calculations prove correct, when V-Jolt is applied directly to the root of the plant, the entire plant should be dead within five seconds. The V-Jolt can be made by simply mixing the VP and UMB chemicals in a specific ratio. However, extra care must be taken when handling these UMB chemicals. They have been known to generate toxic gases if mishandled. The characteristics of each UMB chemical are as follows. UMB number three, red. Yellow 6, yellow. UMB number 7, green. UMB number 10, orange. VP 017, blue. And VJOLT, dark brown. Okay, so now we want to go ahead and use this book right here. They do indeed. So, first, let's go ahead and put the feet where they belong, down there. And then we'll 
grab this and put it over here. And one more swap to make. Bam. So that opens the way into a little storage closet. One hopes. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Well, dang. Okay, so... Uh, I guess we are fighting Plant 42. Say hello, everyone. So we want to get up here. Hey, Plant 42, how's it going? Have some bullets on the house. Um, there's something in here for us, right? Oh, hey, we can just leave through the double doors. That's good. I'm glad. Wasted some ammo, though. And an herb. But I suppose it's better than just dying. Anyway, we've still got some stuff to investigate in here. Because we do want to make V-Jolt. Though I think that's done in a slightly more sciency location. Certainly not in a bathroom with nasty water. This is the third time we've found something in a bathtub. I'd just like to point that out. Yeah, you don't gotta say some kind of giant plant. We've seen exactly the plant by now, game. All right, so... Is it really just an ink ribbon over here? I mean, we'll take it, because... When are we coming back here other than when it's time to actually deal with Plant 42. But, yeah, I guess there was just the ink ribbon. Okay, so over here. All right, so three on top, one on the bottom was red, and red was three? Oh, we gotta do that. And then yellow was five. I guess it was yellow, not orange. And then this was six. Ah, I can't even read the numbers. Okay, six. Yeah, I think this is where we make V-Jolt in here. This is indeed the place. So, yep, we will take the empty bottle. And we'll take this empty bottle. And we'll even take... Oh. I shouldn't have grabbed the ink ribbon, because I can't use this by itself, and I need one more slot. Oh, okay. We'll go back to the item box, then. And the whole time I'll be kicking myself for having been so greedy. I knew it was going to take item slots to do this. I should have thought. I'm 
glad we were able to actually escape Plant 42. Fighting that thing with just a handgun would have been terrible, especially because I didn't have any more healing items left after the one I used. Okay, and here we go. I have to put these ink ribbons the hell away. And let's go ahead and grab those. Make ourselves a fully mixed herb. And of course, now that we've... Uh, Got the ability to make V-Jolt. Once it's made, we're going to head on back to the Aqua Ring for the last time ever. Because after all, we got to put it on the route. Though if we do fight Plant 42, I believe there's a point where it'll grab Jill and then Barry comes in and torches it with a flamethrower. That may or may not happen in this version. I know it happened in the PS1 version. But hey. We're not going to see it anyway. Because we're going to use V-Jolt. So there should be a file somewhere that explains what proportion we need to mix things in. Ah. 1 plus 3 equals 4, 4 plus 6 equals 10, 1 plus 6 equals 7, 10 plus 7 equals 17, and 17 plus 3 equals 20. I wonder what that could mean. Also, it looks like that should be legible on the wall, but unfortunately, it's still a bit blurry. They really should have updated that texture, I think. But let's look at the files here. We want files from here, and hey, look, this one. Okay, so three is red, six is yellow, seven is green. So we're going to want to mix the things. But what's one? One is water, of course. So three is red. Oh, it just straight up says. Oop. So, mix one and three. Hey, look, it's four. So, we also want four plus six. Hey, look, it's yellow six, though it looks kind of greenish. So, four plus six equals ten. Would you look at that? I really should have paid attention to things. Okay, one plus six equals seven. And then we want ten plus seven. So, let's grab some six and some one. And there's some seven, and then we want ten plus seven. And then finally, we want to add some three to that. Hey, look, it's V-Jolt. We got it. Now to go kill a plant the easy way. Hopefully that crimson head will be actually for real and for true dead. Because otherwise, we're going to have to run by him, and that'll just be ever so slightly much more effort. Seems he is for real and for true dead. Killed with a single shot from the self-defense gun. 
makes you almost feel bad for him. You've ransacked all of the aqua ring. Yeah, yeah. There is no aqua ring loot left. So we are literally just... Oh, that's right. The water's gone, so the boxes are gone. Got to take the long way around. Yeah, we are literally just here to kill Plant 42. This way actually takes more time than just straight up fighting it. But it's easier and uses far less ammo. So really, where's the problem? Yeah, if I really wanted to kill it fast, I would just head on in with my uh, uh, the, the what's it my grenade launcher with incendiary rounds. Turns out plant weak to fire. Who would have guessed? I'm sure no one who played Pokemon would have guessed, but then again, this game came out not long after Pokemon. Came out in what, 97? It's actually the same year as Pokemon in the States. The original version, that is. PS1 version. This version did not come out in 97. Ah, there's shark number two. Still flopping, despite having been out of water for like an hour now. Hey, plant. You, uh... You want some of this stuff? It's nice and brown. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I kill you? Oh, uh, yeah, I'll throw all four away, thanks. And there is, of course, nothing to be grabbed in here. And unfortunately, we do have to take the long way back, because the water is still just as drained. I find it interesting that you have to put the pressure shield down to drain the water. Wouldn't that remove pressure? I mean, sure, it's we were putting it down so that we would be safe from the shark, but still. Yeah, this is where I want to go. So while we head back, it's time for a little story. The first time I ever played the GameCube version of this game, I was visiting a friend. Uh, his mother had just recently remarried. So instead of being at his house, we were at his, or uh, not remarried, uh, recently got a new boyfriend is what had happened. So we were at her boyfriend's house. And this guy, he was very well off. He literally lived in a mansion. Not quite as big as the one depicted in this game, but still, the rooms were big and open, and he had a really big TV, especially for the time. And that is the TV that I first played this game on. It was about 10 p.m., so it was completely dark. Uh, we had all the lights turned out. There was just this big TV, and my friend and I, we were playing this game. Or rather, I was playing it and he was watching. It was my GameCube, my game. And just the fact that the game was set in a mansion, we were in a mansion, it was dark and spooky, and we don't have to walk over the boxes anymore. Hooray. Uh, it, it really unnerved me playing this game in that setting. And I uh, couldn't bring myself to play it again for like another year after that. It had just gotten to me that much. So, 
that's just a thing that happened first time I played this game. So now that we've done the things. Oh, right. We got to go into Plant 42's room and be like, hey, you've got some things that I want, like a key with a helmet on it. That's really all we need from Plant 42, just the helmet key. So I really don't need this crank yet. And I believe once we have said key, these windows will get shattered, but I could be wrong. Oh no, you know what? I think it's not that the windows get shattered, but rather that we have an encounter. Hey look, it's a dead plant. Oh, but it's not quite dead. That's right, we don't have to fight it to get this scene. What the hell is this thing? Barry! Jill! Research report he lied. I thought it was finished. Yeah. That was close. Thanks again. Don't mention it. But what was that? What the hell's going on in this place? Yeah, apply v -jolt to the root, they said. Whole plant will be dead in five seconds, they said. And yet... Barry. Something about that mansion still bothers me. But I think I'll stay here a little longer. We should split up again and investigate. All right. Yep, he, he's doing a great job of that. Standing perfectly still. Okay, nothing else to grab in here. Hey, look, it's the helmet key. Let's actually grab this red herb. No sense leaving it here. We are never coming back to the residence. Unless I find myself, like, super at a loss for blue herbs or something. But I doubt it'll get to that. Pretty sure the only things that ever poison you are hanging out near here anyway. Wesker. Jill, so you're safe. That's what I was going to say. I apologize. It was all I could do to protect myself against those strange creatures. I understand. Anyway, it's good that you're safe. Did you notice? Barry, you sounded a little flaky. Now that you mention it, yeah. I'll keep a close eye. Maybe it's quite natural under these circumstances. It's not really our standard operation. Jill, our first priority is to get out of here. I agree. There are still rooms in that mansion we can't get into because they're locked up. I've been looking for ways to... Okay, if there's anything, I'll go back to the other mansion. I'm counting on you. That last line is really stiff and just poorly written, in my opinion. If there's anything, I'll go back to the other mansion. No, you're going back right now because you have a key that is going to be used there. Like, it's, it's not an if statement. It's an, okay, I'll go back and check it out. Not an, if there's anything, I'll go back. It's 
So we'll go ahead and put that in there. And we also don't need the lighter at the moment. We'll go ahead and grab the magnum on our way back as well, because we do have the three open spaces. But let's actually grab out some ink ribbons right now, because it's about that time. Okay, where's my ink ribbons? They are down here. So let's go ahead and save. Killed a plant after all. Considering how much of the game is left, we probably won't get past 10 saves. I don't think. But we'll see. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Join us next time when we pick up a magnum and head back to the mansion. See you then, friends. <laughs>